Hey guys, I'm Josh and uh, welcome to kind of a multi-part series. I'm not sure how many parts are gonna be involved in this, but basically going over all the gear that I use to make the videos that I make. I try and make as high quality videos as I possibly can. I still have a lot to learn. You know, I try my best and part of trying my best is investing in new gear. And my stance on gear is actually a little bit less optimistic than some other videos that I've seen online talking about uh, what gear they use to make videos. Um, a lot of people say like, oh, the gear doesn't matter. I find that depending on your situation to be actually kind of false. I think that not having the right gear for the situation you would like to create makes you sacrifice the concept that you have in your mind of what you want to make. And you can make great stuff without great gear. That's 100% true. Uh, but the type of stuff you want to make can sometimes only be possible with specific equipment, um, whether that's a, a creative styling choice, or a specific camera movement that you cannot do with your hands, which is a little bit of foreshadowing for a future episode, wink, wink. And I think that gear can matter almost as much as the person behind it. I'm not a person that I view as particularly skilled for making videos, so I buy gear to make my videos better. And that's just my view of it. That's, that's how I progress, and that's my opinion of gear. I think it matters a lot. So the first thing that we're gonna be covering today is actually gonna be microphones. So we're gonna talk about this shotgun microphone and two other microphones that I use to make my videos. Um, and then we'll start with the one that I actually use the most in terms of total time talking to, but the least in terms of actual use for videos, which is going to be this blue Yeti, or this black blue Yeti. Blue is the company, Yeti is the name of the device, the color is black. So this is an incredibly well-built device. Uh, when I bought this, I'd never actually seen one in person, um, and it's very solid. The entire construction, through in and throughout the sand, the grill. Uh, this thing does come with a lot of functionality. One on the bottom, you have your USB input for both power and for the actual signal to pass through to your computer, and you have a headphone monitoring 3.5 millimeter output. You have your volume adjustment and mute switch on the front. That volume adjustment is not actually for the mic's gain, but for the headphone gain so that you can monitor and it's a real-time pass-through so there's no delay. So I love it for that. There's also an industry standard mounting screw on the bottom. Now on the back of the microphone, or at least the part that faces away from you, you have your gain adjustment for your actual, the actual sensitivity of the microphone. Um, you can either make it real sensitive. I usually leave it about 11 o'clock. And then you have your different pickup patterns. I use it on cardioid mode, which is just kind of front facing um, at all times. Also has omnidirectional, which is all the way around, bidirectional, which is this way and that way, basically forward and backward. And it also has stereo mode, which is left to right. And before we get to the sound demo of this, my use case for this is occasionally I will do like a voiceover for part of a video or maybe a, a spot correction. Um, just real quick while I'm editing because I plug this into USB and can use it on Premiere Pro pretty much seamlessly. But for the majority of use with this, it's usually just communicating with other people. Now, if I had to give this a one out of 10 score as a user, um, I know a lot of people are kind of shaky about the sound and you can make your mind up for that. I think it's all right for the intended purpose and the price. It's not kind of a pro level microphone, like almost anything that's in the actual legitimate pro category is usually gonna need phantom power and an XLR, which this does not offer. But the build quality, all the features of it, and a, a very passable sound for the applications that I use it for, I'm gonna give this thing about a nine out of 10. It's had solid performance for me, and uh, since I'm not using it for like any sort of professional voice recording, which, if you are, I recommend going a little bit higher price and getting some nicer microphones. It's been a pretty solid unit for me. So here are the sound tests. I'll let you make up your mind on whether or not you think it sounds good. Uh, the only thing I wanna clarify with is that everybody's voice is gonna sound a little bit different and everybody's room and the surface that this microphone is on is gonna make the sound all sound a little bit different. So this is really just specific to my room. I'm under no illusions that this thing sounds like the best thing on the planet. I mean, it's like 110 or $120. And I think it sounds about like 110, $120. It's not uh, like a God tier sound or anything like that. But I think for the purposes of just communicating with people online, it's good enough. And right now we're recording about 80% from Audacity straight USB into the computer. So I was trying to figure out what to say that I didn't already say already. Um, I see a lot of people using this microphone like this, and this is actually not how you're supposed to use it. It's supposed to kind of face you and face your mouth wherever you have to be using it. So that's kind of the proper way to use it. So I guess this is going to be the end of the sound test for uh, 
this microphone and let's get on to the next one. All right, next up we have a lavalier mic, actually specifically a wireless lavalier mic, completely wireless, no external microphones needed necessarily, but can be added. And I believe this is called the Rode Wireless Go. I just picked this up. I bought it, I paid for it. So far I quite like this system, but it does actually require some post-processing to sound decent. Luckily there's actually a native plugin for Premiere that makes this thing, in my opinion, sound pretty good. Uh, so it's a dual unit system. So this end clips on your camera and turns on uh, just like that. And then the other end turns on as well. And you plug this into your camera. Now the microphone unit has a microphone built in and it has a actual 3.5 millimeter for uh, other lavalier mics that will take over that. If you wanna hide things a little bit better or get better microphone quality, uh, you can upgrade to other standard lavalier mics as long as they have that 3.5 millimeter input. Now real quick before the sound demo to this, let me show you what I do in Premiere just really quickly to get it to sound better. And I'll show you without the settings and with the settings and you can determine which is better for yourself. And then we're actually gonna plug this in and use this to talk about the last microphone which is currently being used. All right, what's up guys? So for this clip, uh, all I did was add a parametric equalizer and I also bass boosted by five decibels. And the reason why I bass boost is because I, I'm i using the vocal enhancer preset on the parametric equalizer and that reduces the bass. And the equalizer, for whatever reason, if I try and bring up the bass, it just doesn't sound as good as it does by just bass boosting separately. So those are the two effects. So there's gonna be a non-EQ at the very beginning and then the rest will be the recording of the wireless go with the EQ. So here it is. Now you're hearing the wireless go. A couple closing statements for this thing. Uh, if I had to give it a user score, I'd probably say about a eight out of 10. I think it represents a great value. Uh, the actual application, the battery life of it is great. There's just a couple things I wish were added, like the ability to hook up multiple uh, microphone units to the same actual receiver. So if you wanted to do a, you know, an interview with two different people, or you want to have two different people hooked up to the same uh, unit, since it's mono anyways, I think it'd be really, really easy to do, but they didn't do that. The second complaint I have, and I know this can be changed, but you do have to buy additional products to make it better, is that it, it sounds passable, but it's not anything great. You know, like it's, it's just this unit as it is right now, it's just okay in terms of sound quality. It gets the job done. And it's by far not a professional level, uh, you know, wireless system. And I am overall happy with my purchase. So the very last microphone is the Deity or Deity V-Mic D3 Pro. They make a couple different versions of this mic. They just make the standard D3 non-pro, which doesn't have a, a few of the options. Uh, they make a short shotgun microphone now that I think is about that big. And they make a longer XLR shotgun mic that is for like legitimate professional work. Highly recommend these mics. So this microphone has been absolutely phenomenal. Just completely smooth performance. I only have one complaint for this, but first sound quality of this is excellent. The super cardio pickup of this works really, really well. The rejection of outside sound also works really well. The battery life is great. It's got USB-C uh, universal charging, which so does the wireless go here. And this thing sounds so good that I actually don't use any sort of audio recorder um, I literally just plug this straight into my camera and uh, it, I usually boost it about eight decibels in Premiere and I consider it good to go. I think it sounds awesome. There's two built-in low pass filters at 75 Hertz and 150 Hertz. And the purpose for these, I never use them in here because it makes the sound sound a little bit um, less full, but the purpose of that is to cut out wind noise. And this does come with a dead cat cover and a carry case for it. And if I really boost the audio, all the noise for, I believe is coming from the preamps in the actual camera itself and not from this unit. So this is a 10 out of 10 product. The one and only complaint that I have about this is that I don't know if it's just with my camera, but I cannot charge this unit and record video at the same time. So what I'd like to do, since I have a boom pole over here, is I'd like to run a USB-C up to the microphone and just leave it plugged in all the time so I never have to worry about charging it, which I currently do have to worry about charging it, even though the battery life is great. It usually lasts me about a week or two's worth of videos, but when I record with it plugged into power, it actually creates a buzzing, uh, a, a pretty substantial amount of buzzing on the actual audio recording. So that part's a little bit unfortunate, and I'm not sure if it's the microphone or the camera. And it, the only reason why I bring up the camera as a potential possibility is I get the same buzzing if I actually plug in the camera into power as well. So I always run my camera off of battery because I can't record audio and plug the camera in for power 
without the buzzing. That doesn't seem to affect other Sony cameras that I've seen or been able to find out online. So mine just might be that type of special. All right, for closing statements, we'll switch back to the DD for the sound test. So if you're just considering sound quality compared to both the Yeti and to uh, the Rode Wireless Go, this is a massive step up. I mean, it, it, it's pretty, pretty clear. Um, granted, this has extra functionality that this doesn't have and this has extra functionality that this doesn't have. So this ends up being the premier microphone in like sets or something that I, you know, I have to take a lot of time to set up and it's very important to have the maximum quality in all areas, including audio. I'll of course refer to this microphone or if you're doing like a legitimate, like super high budget project, I recommend like a Sennheiser MK416. That's gonna get you a better result than this, but for 200 bucks closed system with the amplifier and everything straight into the camera, this thing sounds great, I think. So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode one of however many parts we're gonna be doing of the gear that I use to make my videos. I'm curious which microphone you thought sounded best. And if you have any experience with any of these microphones, um, I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section down below. I certainly have my opinion on which one sounds best, but I'm curious if you guys thoughts. So until the next video, my name is Josh, signing off.